Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. Can everybody please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Give roll call, please. Leroy Crockett. Here. Melinda Torrance. Here. Karen Shoup. Here. James Hebert. Here. Rudy Karen. Here. Ed Blay. Here. Did everybody have a chance to review the minutes from our last board meeting? Yes. yes. Anybody have any questions, addendums, or anything else that they'd like to add? Questions? No. No? no. A motion to approve minutes. Anybody? Move to approve the minutes. Presented. All those in favor? You voting? Abstain. Okay. Ed abstained. Everybody else is unanimous. <coughs> Okay, approval of the draft written decision for the following appeal heard on November 14th. Appeal number 2653, William and Linda Thomas, 47 County Road in Scarborough. Has everybody had a chance to mm -hmm. review this and look at this? Yes. Anything we need to add or any comments? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, motion to approve it. Move to approve. The uh, findings of fact is presented. Second. All those in favor? Unanimously abstaining? Abstain. Yes. Everyone but Ed, abstain. Five. Five. One abstention. Going right into our appeal for this evening, appeal number 2654, miscellaneous appeal by Chris and Joanne, is it Capron? Capron. Capron. 10 Pine Point Road, Assessors Map U034, Lot 022. Can you please state your name, where you live, and what you're here to do? Yep, my name is Chris Capron. I live at uh, 10 Pine Point Road. Um, we're looking to change our property, which is currently in a non conforming use, single family in the TBC zone. Another non conforming use, um, which is allowed underneath the uh, code. Uh, so um, basically, we, we had originally thought about changing it into a three unit to meet the code, but the costs were just way, way above what we could uh, handle at this time. So we'd like to go and, you know, this is what, what Jay and Brian and I sat down and kind of figured out this is kind of the next step for us, and maybe long term point is to go and actually get into a conforming use as a three unit, but for now it's just, we'd like to go and just change it to a two unit. Mr. Longstaff, do you have any comments? Or uh, sure, as Mr. Capron uh, explained, that single family and two family dwellings are not permitted uses in the TBC zone. Um, currently the, the dwelling is a single family dwelling. He's just switching from one non-conforming use to another non-conforming use. Um, there was a favorable um, opinion delivered by the planning board, um, as all miscellaneous appeals require um, an advisory opinion from the planning board. Uh, so the two-family uh, use only requires your approval. It doesn't require site plan approval from the planning board. So it's a, it's a, a simpler way to go with, as far as a non-conforming use, but again, can't, can't do it without your approval. Anything else? <clears throat> no. Okay. We're going to do is go down through the questions. Sure. And if you can just read your answers as you have them presented. And we'll throw them. The special exceptions what we're doing, right? Yes, that's the other part of the miscellaneous appeal. Um, the Review uses the special exception standards, um, which are uh, before you. Okay, thank you. 
The proposed use will not create unsanitary or unhealthful conditions by reason of sewage disposal, emissions to the air, water, or other aspects of its de design of operation. So basically, as far as the uh, sewage disposal, there wouldn't be any change, basically, at all. Uh, even, actually, in the usage of uh, the current system, uh, we're not planning on actually having any more people live in the same existing uh, building than there are now, because right now it's a, a six-bedroom. It's going to be uh, a one-bedroom and a, a four-bedroom. Um, as a one-bedroom unit and a four-bedroom unit. So as far as sewage, nothing should change. Um, emissions, I, mean, I don't think there would be any change at all. Um, yeah, it's just like I said there. It's currently a six-bedroom, and it would be a four-bedroom. Okay. The proposed use would not create unsafe vehicular or pedestrian traffic conditions when added to the existing and foreseeable traffic in its vicinity. Um, right now we have four different vehicles that run in and out of there. My mother lives with us currently, so um, my, my uh, plan is to have four parking spaces, which is what uh, the planning, uh, uh, I think that's what needs to be there, uh, according to the code, but the planning also just said that I need to delineate the spaces. Um, and we just uh, enlarged our parking lot so that this wouldn't be an issue, so that we'd actually have enough room to turn around and get out of there in a reasonable fashion. So. Okay. The proposed use would not create public safety problems, which would be substantially different than those created by existing uses in the neighborhood, or require a substantially greater degree of municipal fire or police protection than existing uses in the neighborhood. Um, currently, we have the vet veterinarians right next to us. So there's a lot of traffic that comes in and out of there. Um, just uh, toward Route 1 from us, there's a, although it may not be zoned as a two unit, it's actually being used as a two unit, two, two unit currently. There's uh, upstairs and downstairs apartments. And even two houses down uh, from us at 16, uh, Pine Point Bay, actually been operating for years as a front and back uh, living quarters. So. As far as traffic or anything like that, uh, it's not going to be any different than the properties around us. So. Okay. The proposed use will not result in sedimentation or erosion or have an adverse effect on the water supplies. Nothing's going to change as far as the exterior uh, drainage off or anything. So. Okay. The proposed use will be compatible with existing uses in the neighborhood with respect to the physical size, visual impact, intensity of use, proximity to other structures, and density of development. We're not changing any footprint, we're just changing the interior of the structure, so it shouldn't really have any adverse effects on any of those things. Okay. If located in a shoreland zone as depicted on the Town of Scarborough official shoreland zoning map, the proposed use will comply with all the requirements of the Town of Scarborough shore shoreland zoning ordinance. You're not in a... We're not in a shoreland. Okay. You have sufficient right, title, or interest in the site to, of the proposed use to be able to carry out the proposed use. Yeah, I provide the applicant has technical and financial ability to meet it, the standards of this section and to comply with any conditions imposed by the Board of Appeals pursuant to subsection 5 of this section. Yeah, we've been in real estate investing in uh, flipping homes as well as we own 20 units, so I'm pretty sure our management of this one won't be too difficult. So. The proposed use will be compatible with existing uses in the neighborhood with respect to the generation of noise and operation of hours. Uh, we're not planning on being a nuisance in the neighborhood, I'd write it, it's probably the loudest thing in the, in the neighborhood. And we're definitely not going to be loading stuff at 3 a.m. like they do, so. Okay. Any questions to the board? Yeah. <coughs> do you currently live in the property? Yes. Do you have somebody else living there, too? My Other mother. Other than your family? Yeah, my mother does, yes. It's just family. And is it going to be just family? When you convert it to two families? No. Uh, we're actually, we've actually purchased another place um, on Homer Sands Drive, and we're going to be moving there in two months. And this is all kind of in lieu of that. Um, that we purchased a, a, a house with, this, with an accessory unit for my mother there. We're going to be changing this to a two unit and renting now. So both of these places will be rental properties? Rental units, yes, yeah. So how can you say that there's going to be the same number of people there that there is now? 
Well, I mean, it's a six bedroom a four now. bedroom home. Well, it's a six bedroom home right now. And it's going to be on one side, it'll either be three or four bedrooms, depending on if I can, and when I talk to Brian, we can approve one wall uh, addition in, on one side to make you know, the use of the bedroom better. But it shouldn't be any more cars. Um, on the one bedroom side, it's going to be, um, well, I would, I, I can pretty much guarantee you that only one person's going to live there. I would be surprised if two people are going to live there. Um, so I can't foresee more than four cars um, on a regular basis being in that driveway. Okay. Uh, but I, like I said, I did expand my, I expanded my driveway by twice what it was. Um, put some good money into it to make sure the drainage and everything went the right way and everything. So uh, I don't foresee more than four cars in there at any time as far as, you know, excessive use. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions from the board? One quick question. Um, you had said that if you had went and split the home of the building into three units, mm -hmm. that it would meet code and you wouldn't have to come before us? Oh, um, well, that would meet with a TBC requirements. Sure. Yeah. You can do a three on multifamily. Um, but with that comes a lot of added expenses. I mean, a lot of added expenses. Now, sure. my density lot doesn't meet it, so I have to pay a $20,000 fee. Um, and then also, add, add up the sprinkler system, you know, that's a thirty-five thousand dollar item. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think I think my total cost, if I wanted to change the three unit, just not even including the building part of it, was going to be like eighty thousand dollars, just fees. So we kind of backed off on that just for now. I think long term we go about that direction, and uh, I think it actually I think it would be better for the TBC zone plan if it is a uh, three unit. But okay, it's just Thanks. a temporary kind of jot. Thanks. Other questions? Do we have letters or anything on this? Okay. I'd like to open it up to the public hearing if anybody would like to speak on this topic. Seeing no one, I'll close the public hearing. We'll go back down through the questions, um, do our findings of fact, and see what we can come up with for answers here. First one, proposed use to not create unsanitary, unhealthful healthful conditions by reason of sewage disposal emissions to the air or water or other aspects of its design of operation. Mm. I'll start down on this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, here? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, there's already a single family home there. They're simply turning it into two. Um, kind of disagree. I think, you know, sometimes when you have another unit, you might end up getting a little couple more people in there than you expect but I really don't think it's going to change it to the point that they don't meet this qualification. I tend to agree. I mean, currently it's a, a six-bedroom, single-family dwelling, and they could already put, um, you know, six people worth inside the building, so they change it to four-bedroom, one-bedroom. Um, I think it's fine. He just uh, explained to us that Pretty much the, the number of people are not going to be changing by going from a single family to two families. So I think it, uh, I agree with his answer. I'm comfortable with this because he's reducing the number of bedrooms by at least one, um, which would actually be reducing probably the likelihood of having as many people in the, in the property. Um, and also with the property being in, a, in an area where it would, you would expect a greater density of people, I think it's reasonable to expect this. Um, <laughs> I agree. Uh, just trying to do a quick count of the existing versus new proposed I'll add six laundry, but um, reduction of one bedroom certainly don't see much of a change. Did you say you're on sewer or? Yeah, public sewer. Sorry, public? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I don't think that's going to be a problem. If it was a septic, we might be looking at it a little differently. Yeah. 
Yeah. Probably need to get a survey and stuff done. I would agree that this, this does meet. All in favor of A being met? It's unanimous. B, the proposed use will not create unsafe vehicular or pedestrian traffic conditions when added to the existing and foreseeable traffic in its vicinity. Okay, on the other end over here. Uh, again, you know, single family home to a two family, you need represented, there probably won't be any more cars. Um, so I don't think there's going to be any change there. And again, we're right next to the vet clinic, as you said there, so there's a lot more traffic generated from that. That's the problem. I agree. I you mean, you're not going to generate more traffic than the right aid next door, so there isn't going to be a significant increase at all, I don't think. I agree. If he's not going to increase the number of cars, it, there shouldn't be any traffic issue at all. I agree also that there's no increase in the number of cars, and it also looks like you've actually proactively gone approached improving the, the parking area to make it more accommodating to turn around. So. I also agree, and I would um, support the recommendation of the planning board to delineate the parking spaces moving forward. You said you built the, um, you redid the driveway. How many cars is it capable of right now? Uh, six. Okay. And how many are living there right now that have driver's license? Uh, three. Okay. How big are the bedrooms in the other unit that for the three bedroom? I used to live across the street from some young college kids and they rented it and their girlfriends were also there. So sometimes they'd have six or seven <laughs> cars in the driveway. Gotcha. Um, our bedrooms, uh, you might be able to go and get, you know, five people in those four bedrooms. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go more than that. Okay. Thank you. Just so um, you come. Sorry. Sorry. I think, may I make another comment? Sure. So I think, you know, looking at this too, if you had a six bedroom house and you had a family living there with a bunch of teenagers or whatever, you could still have foreseeably exactly the same number, if not more cars. Uh, so I, I just think that it's probably a wash no matter how we do it. Yeah, based on what you told me, I mean, there's less cars there now and you got more bedrooms, so I think you'll be fine. Yeah. I would agree. All in favor of B being met? Unanimous. C, the proposed use will not create public safety problems which would be substantially different from those created by the existing uses in the neighborhood or require a substantially greater degree in fire municipal, municipal fire or police protection than existing uses in the neighborhood. Uh, proposed use is not really different than what is already being done there. It's a residential unit and it's going to be another residential unit, just a second one, so I don't see any change. Correct. Uh, the degree in fire police protection isn't going to change due to the proposed changes he has in the application. Uh, I'm in agreement. Uh, I mean, nothing nothing changes. The neighborhood doesn't change. The house doesn't change other than he's going to chop it in half. Uh -huh. So I don't think there's any impact at all. I would agree. I also agree, it sounds as if this uh, neighbors nearby um, also have similar um, multifamilies. Yeah, the only reason I could see it generating more from the municipal fire or police is if you rented it to a bunch of college kids, <laughs> but I'm sure you're probably not going to be doing that. Just say, so yeah, I actually don't rent to college students. It's probably a good idea. Just so you know. <laughs> All in favor of C being met? <laughs> D, the proposed use will not result in sedimentation or erosion or have an adverse effect on water supplies. Correct. They're actually making no physical changes to the outside of the property. It's just the interior. My understanding is that correct? Yes. Yeah, it's just being changed. I agree. I mean, they're hooked up to uh, public water and public sewer, so there isn't going to be anything going into the soils around the house. Yeah, I agree. And he's going to... You've recently... You said you recently just uh, repaved it? Yes, and we made the grade much better. Oh. Everything's going in the right spots. So. I'm all right with that. Yeah, I don't see any particular effect that would have adverse or otherwise. I agree, no comments. Yeah, I mean, you said that you've already graded it with the uh, new driveway that's been put in, so you're already addressing some of those problems, and I don't see anything else that would be sufficiently greater than what you've already done. 
All in favor of D being met. It's unanimous. E, the proposed use to be compatible with existing uses in the neighborhood with respect to the physical size, visual impact, intensity of use, proximity to other structures, and density of development. Right, I mean, I think the applicant has done a good job at describing kind of what the neighborhood is. Uh, I live on Pine Point Road, so I drive through every day. I'm very familiar. I don't think this is going to be a change at all, and it'll be consistent and compatible. I agree. I mean, the two words there are consistent and compatible with the other structures in the area, so there's no real, no real issue here for me. Nothing changes. It's the same as it is today. So I'm in agreement with that. Yeah, I agree. I also agree that the intensity of use of reduction in bedrooms um, and the exterior is going to remain the same. Yeah, you're really not doing anything different to the physical outside of it, so it's going to pretty much be right intact and it's just going to be the inside that's going to be affected. So I would agree with that as well. All in favor of E being met? Unanimous. F, you're not located in the shoreline zone. I've already addressed that. Mr. Long staff, can you confirm? We don't really need to go through all these questions, I don't think, on this one. Unless anybody has anything they'd like to add on. All in favor of F being met? It's unanimous. G, the applicant has sufficient title or interest in the site of the proposed use to be able to carry out the proposed use. All right, the applicant has provided the deed, and I'm sure the town records will reflect that he's the owner. I agree. I have nothing to add. I agree. <clears throat> I agree, sufficient uh, title has been shown. I agree. I'd agree as well. If sufficient title has been provided, Mr. Longstaff, you can attest to the fact that he has the rights to this. So. Yes. All in favor of, uh, let's see, G being met. <coughs> Genanimous. H. The applicant has the technical and financial ability to meet the standards of this section and to comply with any conditions imposed by the Board of Appeals pursuant to subsection 5 of this section. Right, the applicant has represented that he's been doing this for over 15 years. He has other rental properties. This is something that he does consistently. That's, that's good enough for me. I agree. He has a history of uh, owning and renovating these properties, so he seems to be a business as usual. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Seems competent and prepared for this endeavor. I agree. Yeah, you have the technical and financial ability or you addressed that when you had your opening comments about the other properties that you own and what you're able to do. All in favor of HBM met. It's unanimous. I, the proposed use to be combated with well, the existing uses in the neighborhood with respect to the generation, noise, and hours of operation. Again, you've kind of already addressed this, but we'll just go down through quickly. Right, I think I said the applicant did a good job at describing the neighborhood and the surrounding properties around him, and um, I do think it is combatable. I agree. I mean, the, as demonstrated by the applicant, there's not going to be any change in operation of the home, so it'll be compatible as it was before. I agree, as long as he doesn't rent to college kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was my line. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. Yeah, I, I agree. I, you know, I think if we were, if you were actually doing a three unit here, we wouldn't even be having this discussion, and we're only asking for a two unit. So we're actually getting, you know, a little easier, gentler, Use. Three stated no change in generation of noise or hours of operation. Yeah, I mean, I think you got a good policy not renting to college kids, obviously. Um, that could definitely have a different effect on the noise and everything. Yeah. But I think uh, you've done this before, you've done it with other, other properties, so I think you've sufficiently given us the information we need on that. All in favor of IBM Met? Unanimous. Is there a motion? Make a motion to approve the appeal. Second. Motion to approve. Appeal 2654 by Mr. Blaze and second. Okay. All those in favor? It's unanimous. You're all set. Congratulations. Next step, building permit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our next piece, the times they are changing. Um, is there a motion from anybody on the board? We had a couple of people that were interested in being chair. I am leaving, I think it's been 12 years. Is that my, is that the term limit, 12 years? Depends on whether you had three year terms or not. I think I did. And I think it might have been 12 years. I think my daughter was like four. 
thought it was three consecutive terms. Yeah. Might have been all three. At least nine or ten. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, anybody have a motion for this? I do. Um, first off, I'd like to thank Mr. Crockett for his service this year and his many years of service in the ZBA. Um, being a mentor for many of us here, really appreciate it. And uh, so thank you. And also, Ed, your, are you terming on? Mr. Blaze is also leaving. We're riding out on the riding out on the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> out on, the, on the horses together. Yeah. Um, but thank you, Mr. Blaze, as well. Also providing a mentorship for us here and really appreciate it. So now I would like to nominate Ms. Shoup for chair. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor? It's unanimous. Okay. Do we have a co-chair nomination? Vice chair. Vice chair, excuse me. I'd like to name, nominate James. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? Second. second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Thank you, Leroy and Ed, both of you. Appreciate yes, thank you, Mr. Belize, for all your service. I appreciate it. All right, zoning board comments. Do we have anything? Uh, I have nothing other than, again, to reiterate uh, my thanks uh, and appreciation for your years of service. You were here when I got here. You've been here <laughs> for years before that, and you've been here the entire time that I've been here. So. Uh, Ed came on sort of halfway in between, so um, I'll miss both of you guys. Hope you don't become strangers, and I know you have some interest in continuing on. And we'll see. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the planning board, perhaps, or some other some other capacity. But um, appreciate, always appreciate volunteer uh, service to the community, and you guys are both exemplary um, servants to your to your uh, community. So appreciate that very much. Thank you for those kind of words. I appreciate working with the town, everybody here. Um, everybody's been outstanding throughout the years. has been able to help me out, help me grow, uh, trying to take this over on a whim at the beginning of the year. So it was, uh, it was a rough first meeting, but we got through it and made it this far. So I appreciate everyone helping us. I will turn over my book, whoever wants it. <laughs> One less thing I have to carry home. Done. All right, we do need... We'll have that bronzed for you. Yes. We do... <laughs> <laughs> bronzed? I thought you put folding on it for me. Uh, we, do we do have a dire need for board members because there are now four board members on the Zoning Board of Appeals, and if a person comes before the Board of Appeals starting in January, if there's four members, if it's a tie, it would be a denial of the appeal the way it stands. So I'd appreciate anybody that's interested in service your, servicing to your town, um, putting your volunteerism in place and helping out this board so that we don't have to get into that situation at the beginning of the year where there could be a potential tie and actually deny us an appeal for somebody. So it would be great if someone would step forward and fill those shoes as well. And... Did you need a journey? There you go. You can join us. <laughs> before, right before you gavel the uh, meeting close, I would just put out a plea for um, the public out there. If anybody has an, uh, a desire to serve, we, we are in desperate need, as Mr. Crockett just said. And not only would it result in a tie with just four members, but if one member happened to be happened to take ill and couldn't make the meeting, we can't even do any business at all. Uh, four is the quorum. So with that being the only amount of members we have, it's a pretty tough spot to be in. So um, I encourage board members to look around, uh, promote it, and the public, uh, please put your applications in. There's a process. Uh, Tody, Justice uh, Town Clerk, can help you through that. So please help us out. Motion to adjourn. How about, how about a Merry, John? Merry Christmas and a happy yeah, New Year. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> happy New Year. Everybody stay safe and enjoy the festivities. Yeah. Motion to adjourn? Second. Second. Oh, go for it. You get it. All in favor. See? got a month. <laughs> 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 Did it well. Did it well. Oh, it's always nice when it's a short meeting. <laughs> I think that's going to be a record, though. Mm -hmm. 28 minutes. Yeah, I'll take that. And never turn.